Hi, welcome back and in this session we are going to be talking about embedding video, audio and iframe into your web page. I want to talk about iframe. Iframe is just inline frame that is used to embed another document into your web page. Don't forget that your web page is also a document, but just that it's a type of HTML document. So let's let's start with the video. So I'm going to be using H2 for this and we look at dealing with videos on our web page. So just like we can embed images into our web page, the same way we can also embed <coughs> videos into our web page. Now, to embed video into our web page, we use the video tag. So we have opening tag so we use this video tag to embed video into our web page so if i save it now of course i don't have it yet so because <clears throat> i need to define some properties and to define some properties which is firstly i need to define the width of the video in this case let's just say it's, it's going to be with 3 320 and i told you that when you are not putting any units here it means that the unit is pixel so the height is let's just say something 240 and inside the opening and closing tag of the video LMA video uh, video tag you are going to put the source of the video that you want to embed on your web page so and you are going to be doing that using a self-closing tag that we know as source that is called source so self-closing tag that is source don't forget the self-closing tag does not have an opening and closing tag just one just just close it like this and in there we are going to be having an attribute where we are going to be specifying the source of our video now in my folder directory i have a sample video here and i also have a sample audio here so now the source of my video is going to be looking for it in the current directory and i'm going to be going with the html tutorial.mp4 and i will be required to also specify so i think i'll close this now i'll be required to also specify the type of the video that i want to play so in this case since i'm working with an mp4 video so i'm going to be saying video slash mp4 so that is it so so if i save now you can see that i have my video on the web page but how will the user know that this is a video and not an image and to do that i need to come to this video tag and specify that i want to have the controls so i want to have the controls of the video now you can see that i have the controls of the video so that if i want to play i can play if i want to pause i can pause now i can press play now and now the video is playing so now you can also increase the height maybe you okay you want the width to go bigger you can increase it so you can see that the video has become bigger and you can also do the same thing for the height too but i'll just leave it at that 320 by 240 240 and that is that about that. so your video format and the type of your video and that is how to deal with video <coughs> in html so the same way you can deal with images videos you can also deal with audio with your html page and that is let's go to another session now and let's call this audio <coughs> let's call this audio and just like we embed video into our web page using video tag to embed audio into our web page we use audio tag and that is going to be audio now which is opening and closing tag so it's the same format with video just you specify a self-closing tag called source where you are going to be letting your html page know where to look for the audio file so in this case i'm looking for it in the current directory when you are looking for something in the current directory you just put dot slash and it's going to be in the current directory so i'm looking so since i want to look at the audio file which is the bit so i'm going to look at it there and i need to specify the type of the audio file that i want to play then in this case it's going to be audio slash so audio slash 
MPEG. Aqui é já ser MP, MP3. <coughs> MP3. So, that will make our audio to be on the web page. So, if I save now, you will see that. Okay. I think the, the audio now, I need to also specify the controls so that it's going to show up and to specify the controls and now you can see that i have my audio file on my web page so if i want to play i can play it and i have the audio playing without any stress or without any wasting of time now let's go to the last one which is the iframe and i told you the iframe is just inline frame whereby which allow you to import another document which can also be an html document and embed it on your web page now let's call this session iframe iframe and the tag for us to embed another html document or another document file on our html page is as the name implies iframe so i want to have iframe tag now you can see it's asking me for the source but let's just do this manually so that we see how it works so i have a opening tag opening tag iframe and i close it it's not a self-closing tag you have to open and close it now this will now take the property of what you want to embed on your web page and the first property that you should specify is the source that's which where is it directory of the file that you want to embed on your web page so in this case let's say i want to embed google.com most of the time you see that sometimes when you are checking some websites some websites will embed their social media pages on their website so they do that using iframe now so you need to you need to specify the source maybe you want to specify your social media url your your personal website or anything that you feel okay i want to add this but at the same time i want the users to be able to check it why they remain on the page so let's say i want the user to be able to check google on this page so i want to say that okay i'm going to source http s slash slash <coughs> google google.com now Apart from specifying the source, if I save now, you see that I have the high frame here. Refuse to connect, so possibly they have some restriction. So if I save now, refuse to connect to Google. Now let me just let me let me use our former tutorial to connect to. So, instead of us using google. so you can use any external website or your <coughs> own personal so let me go out of this directory and enter into the last tutorial directory and go into index.html so if i save now you see that i have that web page embedded on this page so now <coughs> you can see that so you can specify the source as an external source or your local or your local source now apart from specifying a source you can also specify the title so in this case i'm going to just say images images and links images and links and if i save and see that in action <coughs> that will be the title of our iframe but that is mostly like so the next one is the width the width in now will be let's say 500 you can see that the width has increased so i also want the height to also increase too so 500 so. now with that now you can see that we are able to why we we are able to integrate another html element inside our inside our html document so it's just like bringing another document and embedding it into your current documents and that is done using the power of iframe